Howdy mates. Good afternoon. Here's a part four video. Still over at Alligator Creek as we were. But this time I wanted to point out another type of plant that I found as I was walking along here in these mangrove swamps. Since you see the kayaks and then beyond the kayaks you see some estuary. So focusing on the purpose of the video, you may notice that this looks a little bit like a vine. See this? All right here, all connected together. And it just goes around and up. This is actually something called a coin vine. And coin vine is found as a native plant in Florida. But you can also find it in parts of the Caribbean and even parts of Africa, too. Uh, for example, Senegal. You can see it there. So let's just say that the coin vine is a very wide distribution in terms of where it is found. But here's a fascinating thing about coin vine. Is it's actually been used as a useful tool for the Seminoles. So actually, all parts of this plant are actually toxic to us. And with that being said, the Seminoles have actually used this coin vine as a means of stunning their fish in the water. So, since it is capable of stunning the fish, it's an indication that this plant is indeed poisonous. So, it is not safe for us to consume by any means. So, we could say the only reason we would know is the fact that probably someone who tried it fell victim to the coin vine. So, I always have this ongoing joke that for those who may have suffered the symptoms, you got to thank them for what they went through. Because otherwise, we wouldn't even know <laughs> if it was unsafe. But coin vine, oftentimes, is also used as a diuretic to actually promote urine flow in the human body. It's also even been used as a an emetic for inducing vomiting. Like in case if maybe something's in our body that we don't want. And it even acts as a vermicide too. So this plant is actually very useful for us. Now, going off of that subject, the leaves actually have a rather sort of like a sandpaper texture. So that's how you can tell when you're looking at a coin vine. And it's so named coin vine given the fact that the flowers that they produce it's already past that time of the year, though. They resemble these little coins. And that's how it really gets that name. But here's a problem, though, with coin vine. If the conditions are right, if there's plenty of heat in a given climate, they can grow quite aggressively, even though they're not invasive. So a controversy surrounding this plant is the fact that they, these, they're also found along beach dunes as well, not just mangrove swamps. The thing is, normally a beach dune can experience frost time and time again, especially when it cools off at night. 
But the thing is, and that, you know, change in temperature is what keeps it in check. But the problem is, you know, especially for a lot of our developed beaches that have roads, usually most times these roads absorb heat throughout the day, especially asphalt. So the problem is, since it takes a longer time for roads to cool off, there's really no opportunity for any uh, any frost to develop. And so, in a sense, it's really like altering the environment. And the thing is, when it becomes more abundant, it acts more like a vine. And usually it's supposed to act as a stabilizer. Since it's growing so rapidly, it doesn't really have a chance to reach that full maturity. And thus... It reduces its effectiveness and also reducing e erosion, too. So you could say it's kind of like a vicious cycle. When the effectiveness of the plant goes down, that's when more of the taxpayers have to come in to promote more planting or filling of sediment each time after a storm happens. So that's why coin vine has to be kept in check. And it's actually so essential for both the environment and even us humans too. Yep, yeah, you can see it practically everywhere. So like, you see that little bran that branch right there? This is all of that coin vine. And you can see, like, the leaves, they tend to alternate on a given branch. And actually, I just noticed that looks like it was a former bloom that occurred. But like I said, it's already past that time as to where we see that. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that bit, you know, with this video. That was, coin vine was actually a plant that I recently learned about. So, I also wanted to spread the knowledge to all of you as well. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Enjoy your Sunday. And once again, Journey on a Journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.